Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server aventure or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to subscribe up because I do these every week. If you have suggestion one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment in the jibbles below and I'll give you a shout out around when I get around to it. This is Nicknamer as brought to you by an invent a inventive talent. Um, and the reason we're talking about this one is because Murder Mystery mentions it. It works great with the plugin that I did last week in hiding people's username as well as has the option to do different skins. It's pretty cool. It's very simple to, to use. It does require a packet listener uh, API, which link will be in the Jibbles. You just plug that into your plugins folder and then it'll run. And then if you're using essentials, you do have to disable the slash Nick command because this also uses slash Nick. Now, we got another buddy. Obviously, that is not us. I thought you you didn't know which one was me for there for a second. So the way this works is we can go ahead and clear Nick Evil. We can clear that and clear skin, clear skin. And once again, that resets everything back to normal. So if we want to set him to something else, we can do Nick and then the name that we want to set and then the player that we want to set that on. And there it is. So now the skin doesn't match it because that's not the skin. So then you can also do skin cause for Christ evil doppelgamer. Now, if you manually set the name or skin or at least the skin, the player has to be on the server for that to go. There's also some ways that you can restrict different ones, but you also have an option to do random Nick, which is pretty cool. So if you do random Nick and then evil and then we're not going to put anything, but you can do a category. That's right. And we modified that, but we can do Mojang. It'll do Notch or Jeb or Dinner Bone or Jeb. It was upside down there. <laughs> that's pretty slick. And uh, that's how you do the random ones. You could set up different kinds of random categories in your config, which we'll talk about in a second. So then you can also do list names, which is going to say, all the names of all the, the nicked people on the server. And you can also do random skin and you can do the same thing for the skin. So I think that there's only two people on their MD5 and inventive talent on there. And then you could do Nick reload to reload everything. You can also do list skins, just like list names is gonna tell you what skins are used by what players, which is really, really pretty sick or slick. Now, some of the permission nodes are nick.command.name and then that allows players to use that nick command and then you have to add dot clear for them to be able to clear the nicks and then dot list in order to list all the name the nicks and then random in order to use the random and then they can also do nick colored because you can also do color codes in there but they need the permission node for that and then you have nick dot name dot whatever name it is uh and then they would have access to that name now you have nick.command.skin in order to use all the, the, the skin commands and also clear list random. And then nicknamer.join.nick.name will set whatever name that is on that player when the player logs in. And then nicknamer.join.skin.name will be that skin when they join. Let's take a look at the configuration file. All right, pretty basic here. It's in the plugins folder under nicknamer config. config. Um, so there's... It's really straightforward, not a whole lot to go on over. You can t turn it on for the scoreboard. You can change the chat as well as the name. So that's pretty cool that this plugin has that option. And then you have the random in here. Um, these are the categories for the random list. So I, the default Nick is just Nick and I replaced it with just cause for Christ. You probably wanna change that. And then you can even put it on random when they join. So once they join, it gives them a random Nick or a random skin, just some fun stuff in there. You can set your own categories, but you gotta reload the config when that's done. You have some name formatting options and then storage in there as well as ability to change any of the text that will show up on the screen, which is really cool. Like I said, not a whole lot to go to the config. The main thing is if you want to play with some of this random stuff, you got to create those categories in here. I don't believe there's categories for skin. That's just going to be whatever that is. So 
Let's jump back in, wrap it all up. All right, so that is it. So like I said, you need the packet listener for this to work and you do need to disable any plugin or at least the commands in that if they use slash Nick like essentials, I ran into that problem. And that's about it. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and this plugin pretty cool. Please leave a like, let me know what you guys are thinking. This is Kyle's reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Oh.